So we've got Ray and Dennis in the studio from Dr. Hook and also a guy who went to the concert, Chris Maxwell. I didn't manage the goal. I was here sort of practicing for don't, tonight. Don't just call so, him a guy that went to the concert. <laughs> well, mean, one of the many it. brilliant people that saw fit. To, <laughs> to, <laughs> I like it. I like no, it. Right. To see. Welcome to Night Moves, Bert. Thank, Thank you. you. How do we look? Tired? Uh, you look great. You Thanks. look great. Right. What you looked on stage, I can tell you. I know. I try oh, to get. Geez. I dry off and I wash my hair, and then right in the middle of the first number, I turn into the Loch Ness yeah, monster. Yeah. This, this guy nice. was just covered in sweat. Like he looked as though he just got out of his. No, no, it's Hollywood sweat capsules. Oh, oh I see. Yeah, well, yeah. actually, what we're going to see of Dr. Hook in a short while has got tons of Hollywood sweat capsules. So <laughs> you get to see more about Everything that. Everything does. How did it go tonight? Good, real good. As a matter of fact, they told us we're coming back on the 23rd. 23rd, that's yeah. Monday week, right? Yeah, and now that we don't have to fly in them little Volkswagens 9,000 feet in the air, we'll be fine. Yeah, that's right. It's over as of about 20 minutes ago. That's yeah, Russ, we were going to have to go to Perth in one of those things. Ooh. That was like, I think they told us it was like two months in the air with yeah. 21 refueling Take stops. Take a really big cut lunch And a hamburger you, right? break. <laughs> <laughs> and you're also live at the moment on, on radio as well, on radio station 3XY. As well as on oh, television. Hello, at home, everybody in bed who's laying there. Come on, get up, get over here. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> Watch can you, where you're driving. <laughs> if we can get on to some more things about the concert tonight, um, what apart from the musical side of it do you get up to on stage? Everybody's talking about, you know, spoken about the, the lunacy of Dr. They Hall. keep saying, you know what yeah. word they keep using? They keep using the word outrageous, yeah, you know, which yeah. is all right if, as they mean it friendly. But <laughs> but the word is informal, I guess, because we just keep it pretty loose. I mean, we, you can't tell what to play third unless you play the first two songs. Yeah, yeah. We, at least we can't, you know, and sometimes it gets to the point where the people dictate what we do, we just leave, leave it that loose. The other night in Sydney, some guy yelled, you know any Australian songs? Yeah, and Ray yeah. said, no, to you? And he said, yes. So he came up and sang for about 10 or 15 minutes. So, <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, but that was all right. So he was better of... than we were, they said in the paper the next day. No two, show <laughs> no two shows are the same? No, we try not to make, we've been on the road 300 days a year yeah. for six years. Well, some of the stuff's gotta be the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But for the most part, we like to jump around. What about that whistling thing tonight, right? Was that the... Uh, I throw that in every once in a while. When you, you heard those guys start that mess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, and, uh, the crowd started whistling, so Ray whistled back and then they had a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> bird, bird talk. Good yeah, stuff. Yeah. Listen, there's an area I want to cover just really lightly. Don't sure. want to get into it too deeply. Uh, the very much publicised bankruptcy, right? Oh, yeah, no, we don't mind talking about it. Well, I don't so much want to talk about those days. I want to talk about these days in relation to those days, right? Yeah. Are, are you on top now? Do you feel you're... You're where you've wanted to go all the time, or what? Yeah, yeah, you know, you know yeah, what we yeah. we do have. We're fortunate in one way. We have seen each other. We're all friends. I mean, we're real good friends, and we've seen each other now on the bottom. Yeah. I mean, with panic. You know, I would go to Ray's house and sing him a song, and he'd give me a dollar, and I'd sing him a song, and he'd <laughs> give me a dollar. Yeah, that was the whole thing, you know. But we just kept doing it, and now, as long as things are going along pretty good, we don't have you know any reason to leave each other. I mean, like. If we weren't doing a major Australian tour, I could promise you we'd be playing a bar somewhere in Nashville if they'd hire us. Yeah, yeah. Three square meals a day, though, are nice, aren't they? Three? Yeah. Oh, boy, that was if you were lucky. Three ah. square meals of beans. <laughs> Do you ever have any dramatic moments on stage when uh, things Every go night wrong? we make it off live, it's a drama. <laughs> no, really. There's a bunch of stuff happened. We were in Germany one time playing for this small crowd uh, in uh, Schaffenberg, Germany. Yeah. And uh, we were doing... A song, Carry Me Carry, we did it tonight in concert. And I was singing it and I turned around and Bill had this little makeshift piano stand and his organ got lost somewhere in Helsinki or something. And it started to fall and he grabbed it. And he started to sail over with like he was surfing and that hit the floor and we could do nothing else but keep singing and they were sweeping that up. And John, it was the end of the song and our drummer John tried to hit a cymbal and he slipped through the drums and crashed all the drums into the back of my legs and I fell and I looked at Ray and we just started laughing and walked off the stage. That was forcibly the end of the show. What else could you do? Nothing no. else you could I don't do. know if you noticed it tonight. The, during the blues song, the big send-up of the old blues song, <laughs> like Dennis has got the microphone stand upside down with his great weight on the bottom. There was a lady in the front row. She sort of looked like that and put her hands over. Yeah. <laughs> Expecting walked the away. Way. Yeah, yeah, I did that too. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to kill nobody. <laughs> Raised it up. You mentioned 300 days on the road a year before. Is that What, does that affect 300? Yeah, for the last yeah. six years. I mean, it's obvious we've had enough isn't it look at us yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but we, speak for yourself you gotta like what you do you know you really do that's the key to the whole thing I mean you know when you go into a restaurant and you say to the waitress can I see a menu and she says oh god I've been working all day you know yeah. and you say you think to yourself well, why did she do that why is she you know why doesn't she do what makes her happy 
And so, it, you know, you, we have to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and fly in them little planes and <laughs> live in suitcases and eat junk food a lot. But you don't have to be miserable about it if that's what you, the choice you make. That's yeah, something you like doing. You, yeah. put, you put yourself into it. So. If this is a yeah. joke, folks, this is the longest running joke in history. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, can we talk briefly about the, the new album that's coming yeah. out? You've got the singles already happening around town, Walk Right In. Yeah. What made you choose that? Uh, I don't know. All of our songs come to us in real strange ways. Um, this particular song, our producer, Ryan Hafkin, was uh, in a bar in Nashville two or three months ago, just, you know, like watching this folk singer with a guitar. And he did the song. Every folk singer sings the song, you know. And Ronnie has got a, a talent for um, hearing a song and can hear us doing it, you know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, plus, he's got a talent of like if we can we could take some lyric into him, and then a song, start writing a song, and take it to him. He can tell if it's any good. He'll tell us. I think you could do better and stuff. And we really trust him. He's really a, you know good. Objective. Yeah. And so he obviously yeah. heard us uh, finish, you know, that song finished in his head, and he said, "Let's go in and do it." So there it is. It was. Yeah. A, did you know it was a theme song about 70 years ago for a bordello? That guy's doing that again, you man. Really? <laughs> it was a theme song. We figured if it's good for business, Rheumatism. then. I don't yeah. know what's wrong with yeah. him. Look, you ought to get, get a we, Are we doing this again? Okay, folks, but we don't even know if we're coming back Listen. this time, so we'll just roll our arms. Ray and Dennis are coming back to town with the band Monday, right. May the 23rd. Yeah. That's Monday week. I'll tell you what, if you get a chance to go, do go. I'll be going there on Monday night. That's about the only night. Are you going this time? Oh, I'll be there. <laughs> it's not on a it was busy night. tonight, obviously. It sounds like a really great concert. So Ray and Dennis, sincerely, thanks very much for dropping in. On thanks for of having us on your first show. And the people that are listening on 3XY at the moment. All right. Thank We're you. looking forward to seeing you on the 23rd of May. Terrific. Good thanks. night. Thanks. See you.